Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you about my results using Freedom for the past uh, seven days. So this is a Freedom review, and uh, essentially, I'm going to be answering the question of is Freedom actually worth it? So I'm just going to cut right to the chase. I've been using Freedom for the past seven days, and it actually allowed me to save. I would say, you know, it's an estimate, but I would say approximately five hours. So. I would estimate that before Freedom, I was actually spending about five hours a week just, you know, going on the internet and mostly watching YouTube, like watching basketball for the most part. And so I'm not big on social media like, uh, you know, Facebook and all that kind of stuff. But for me, my main distraction, my main source of distractions has always been YouTube. And I spent about five hours on it per week. And this week, I installed uh, Freedom. Uh, a week ago on my computer, my Windows computer and my iPad, I don't actually have a smartphone because I was trying to, you know, I've always uh, tried to actually cut out the distractions, but you know, I still have my computer, I still have my iPad, I installed Freedom and I have not been on YouTube at all. There has been an incident that I'm gonna talk about, but yeah, so essentially I've saved five hours and so if you take this in the context of an entire year where you have you know 52 weeks if i continue like this you know five hours times 52 that's 260 hours that i'm going to save every single year just with a simple app just by installing a simple app so it's pretty significant it's a lot of hours and over the course of, four, of you know four years it's going to be over a thousand hours saved on not you know, going on YouTube essentially. So that's my review, it's definitely worth it. Now I wanna talk about uh, the pricing of Freedom because this is definitely something I was wondering about. So Freedom has three plans as I am recording this video. There is the monthly plan, if you have the yearly plan, and then currently there is a discount. And by the way, I have a, an affiliate link in the description below if you wanna check it out, there is a discount. Uh, that you can have by clicking the link, which is on the lifetime plan for freedom. So if you click the link, you'll find out if there, this discount is still applicable, but essentially you can buy freedom for uh, your, you know, not have like the recurring subscription. It's just a one-time fee and you get it forever. So uh, now that I've talked about my results and the pricing, I just wanna talk more about sort of my setup as well as some of the issues that I had with Freedom. So my setup is essentially, uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about how Freedom actually works, but essentially you'll have, there are two concepts that you need to understand. You have block lists and you have sessions. So Freedom actually works with block lists, which are essentially, you, you know, you can have multiple lists of websites and applications or, you know, categories of websites and applications that you can block out on all of your devices. And so for me, in my case, I only have one block list. I've blocked a bunch of stuff, but really the main target was uh, YouTube. So I have this block list and then there are sessions. So in Freedom, you can have sessions. That is to say, you know, you can go on Freedom and say, okay, I wanna start a 15 minute or a 30 minute or one hour, an eight hour focus session where I'm going to block out all of the distractions uh, listed in a particular block list or multiple block lists. So in my case, I've actually taken, uh, you know, extreme measures. I just have one block list, which, you know, blocks out YouTube for the most part and some other stuff that's not as distracting to me. And I only have one session, which is actually a recurring session, meaning that it's, it, it just launches itself automatically every single day from midnight and one minute up to 11.59 p.m., so pretty much all the time. And so this session, this recurring session, uh, is set to uh, be run every single day. But in your case, if you don't wanna do that, it's totally fine. Freedom actually gives you the ability to say, okay, I just wanna run this on you know weekdays or just on weekends or just on Wednesdays and Fridays and so on. But I have this running all the time and it's also using uh, locked mode, which is a mode that allows you, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe it, it uh, prevents you from actually uh, ending a session when a session is running. If you don't have locked mode on, you're going to be able to end the session if you wish to. 
the other thing as well is that uh, in locked mode, you're not going to be able to modify the contents of your block list. So it's a more you know extreme, severe mode. This is what I've chosen, and it's worked well. I haven't been on YouTube in a week. So now I want to talk about the issues that I've had with freedom. So the first one is not really an issue that I've had. It's something that it was, you know, one of my reservations with uh, freedom. In the beginning, I thought that, well, okay, there's this app that blocks out the, you know, that's going to block out, you know, distractions. But all I need to do if on a particular day, you know, I want to go on YouTube, I could just uninstall freedom and then go on YouTube. So I don't see how that's very useful. But, uh, you know, after trying it for about seven days, I can tell you that, you know, many times I was tempted to go on YouTube. I actually just went on YouTube and I got on the blocked page and uh, it never really occurred to me to uh, say, well, I'm just going to uninstall freedom. It's such um, such a hassle. I don't think it takes a long time. But, you know, when you want to go on social media, when you want to go on YouTube, it's just a very short sort of impulse. And so you, you don't necessarily, in my case, at least, you, you're not going to have the energy to actually go all the way and uninstall uh, freedom. So, you know, this may be a weakness of freedom. But to me, that has not been that hasn't really been a problem. All right, so the second issue that I've had, and this is a minor issue, but it's kind of weird. Uh, uh, today, actually, this morning, I got an email from, from Freedom telling me that uh, on my iPad here, I needed to actually uh, open the Freedom app for it to, to work. So for about six days, Freedom was working on my, on my iPad, but this morning, I actually had to open it again so that it could work. And before that, so this morning for a few hours, I could actually go on, you know, YouTube and, and such. I didn't go because I think I started losing that habit. But as soon as I launched uh, Freedom, you know, back again, then the block list was, uh, you know, YouTube was blocked again and it, it started working again. So this is a minor incident. I hope it doesn't happen uh, too much, but you know, once a week is is fine, I guess. And so yeah, that's it. So this is this was my review of Freedom. Again, there's a link in the description if you want to, you know, find out whether you can. Uh, um, there's a discount actually for the lifetime plan and for other plans as well. Click on the link. It also helps uh, support my channel. And that's it. So I'll see you in the next one.